hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go i just want to quickly say happy mother's day to all of my beautiful mothers out there i hope you ladies had a wonderful day so in this video i'm going to show you how i set up my mother's day brunch for the special mothers in my life and for the ones who couldn't make it i just gave them the gifts which is what i'm showing you now the necklaces I got were from Amazon. I'll have the link in the description box below for you. And of course, the candle came from Bath and Body Works, and everything else was from Dollar Tree. <music> This is the setup that I put together. If you want to see how I prepare everything, just keep on watching. My phone did die at the very end of me preparing everything, so I did not um, record the waffles, and I also did not record the chocolate-covered strawberries because I, did, I actually didn't do the strawberries right, so I just didn't record that. I couldn't get my chocolate to melt how it should have melted. <laughs> just using this veggie wash I use this to wash all of my fruit and vegetables just to make sure that any wax chemicals and soil is removed <music> mm -hmm. so one of the beverages that I had um, there was lemon water which is super easy you just cut up a lemon and add some water <music> This next drink is a strawberry peach cocktail. I guess that's what we can call it. Um, I got this recipe from Tipsy Bartender here on YouTube. You just want to cut up a few strawberries, smash them up a little bit. Then you want to add some peaches. Then a sweet champagne. I also added some pe some peach vodka. And then just um, add some pineapple juice to it. And I just filled it up to the top basically with the pineapple juice. <laughs> And then give it a little stir. Here I'm just preparing my water for my noodles for the pasta salad and then my chicken breasts for the chicken salad. <laughs> Tiny noodles that I used the store that I went to did not have the tricolor noodles in stock which is the ones that I'm showing you on your screen now and also I went ahead and started boiling my eggs for the chicken salad so for my pasta salad I'm gonna cut up some red peppers green peppers some orange peppers yellow peppers and a tomato Then a red onion, just half of one, some slices of ham, and then one cucumber. So 
so now it's time to mix everything up I'm mixing all of my vegetables that I just chopped up and my ham salad supreme and oh just for the record I am doing everything just by taste I'm not measuring anything and then one bottle of Olive Garden Italian dressing <laughs> so just make sure that you mix all of that up very well and that's your pasta salad on to my chicken salad I chopped up about six boiled eggs um, I think about six or seven skinless boneless chicken breasts <laughs> almost the entire container of that um, sweet relish about two big cooking spoons of mayo about a tablespoon of mustard and then I just added just a little bit more of the seasoned salt I didn't need to add much because I seasoned the water that the chicken was cooked in and also about a teaspoon of sugar. All right, just mix that up very well. And then I got some pre-made croissants from Walmart. I just cut those in half and put the chicken salad in the middle to make a chicken salad croissant. Now I'm making an egg crust roll, at least that's what I'm gonna call it. I got this recipe from Gordon Ramsay's YouTube channel. And he did not call it an egg casserole. I just don't remember what he called it. But I'm chopping up more of the red pepper and some green onions. And I'm going to use some leftover vegetables that I use for the pasta salad. All right, so I chopped up some bacon. And I'm going to let that cook until it gets a little brown. And then I'm going to add all of my vegetables. And stir that up and let it cook a little while. And while that's cooking, I'm going to prepare my eggs. So I used about seven eggs. I added some Parmesan cheese and some salt and pepper and then just whisk your eggs up some sweet peas to the skillet now then I'm gonna let that cook just a, about a minute or so and then I'm gonna add some baby spinach <laughs> I'm adding some Vermont cheddar cheese I'm going to let that melt a little bit and then I'm going to add my eggs. When adding your eggs, make sure that the eggs get to the bottom of the skillet. sprinkling the rest 
of that Parmesan cheese over the top of the casserole and then I'm going to put it in the oven at 350 for about 30 to 45 minutes now I'm getting my flour ready for my chicken tenders which I had marinating in the fridge from the night before um, you can just season your chicken tenders however you would like and I'm using this deep fryer to fry them turned out absolutely delicious I really enjoyed my family and I was happy to just cater to my mom and my mom-in-law and just wanted to let them sit back and relax for a change all right guys so this is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next video happy Mother's Day again to everyone see you later bye Thank you.